So you offered a solution. And I want to say that you were the, everybody's saying it now, but you were the very first person that I saw suggest this. You acknowledge again that the Invictus Games are an incredible organization, Mm -hmm. but you say, but he is also a guy who ran from his family and his country when the going got tough. Then he ran before the TV cameras and he wrote a tell-all book. If he really craves admiration, here's a chance to get some decline the award. This is a no-brainer. I mean, I feel like that would clean up this entire mess. And a lot of people would have uh, the 60,000 people that have now signed this petition against him getting this award. That is a lot of people that he might impress in in just a single second with one decision. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a this is a man, a prince, I guess, in in the UK, certainly he's a prince. Um, This is a man who has a bit of a PR problem on his hands. Some people think he's great and he's a victim and other people think not not so so victim like here's a chance though for him to really step up and say you know what i don't deserve this award i'm rewarded every day just by getting up in the morning and and life is good for me here is a chance for him to say let's find someone really special to highlight because they're out there they're in every city and in every country doing amazing things and those are the stories we need to hear Absolutely. Uh, just to, to close your piece, you said living a life of service of others, talking about Pil- Pat Tillman. That was Pat Tillman. I wonder, can the same truly be said of this year's honoree? Uh, do you think, and I'm asking just your opinion, is there anybody sitting in the ESPY's office today thinking, maybe we should have gone with option number two? Or is this a is this like all publicity is good publicity and we're all talking about the ESPYs and that might not be a conversation you and I would ever have with each other? My guess is the second. 